Hello Leo and welcome to my channel. We're going to do the November 2020 forecast and uh, we're going to cover love, we're going to cover uh, career, we're going to cover health, we're going to cover everything. Um, I also want to say if you have a rising sign in Leo, you could apply this. If you have a moon sign in Leo or if you have a stellium in Leo, hey, you could apply it, okay? Uh, okay, so we're going to get started. Let's see, we're going to use more of the ear tarot and we're going to also use uh, the Doreen Virtue. We're going to take a couple of cards out of here. We're going to uh, pick some and we're going to use the dice as well. And we're going to see what are the messages the scarabs has, have for us. So, okay, let's get started. So this message applies as soon as you see this video. If you see this video, then this message is meant for you to see. Okay, all right, let's give it a little shuffle. And you know what? Also, we're going to pick some of these, okay? We're gonna pick some messages from these oracle decks. So we got a lot going on here. We're gonna get a really, really nice, um, juicy message, okay? So let's give it a little shuffle here and see what November has for us. camera a little bit over here I think. I think it's better there. Yes. So that you can see what's going on. Okay. All right. Let's flip them around. So, wow. Leo, we have a lot going on for next month. Wow. Okay. the four of swords we have retreat we have resting we have um, taking a step back okay maybe recovering from an illness this is the main thing right now as you see this video all right um, you're just retreating and you also have here a uh, feeling doubts okay feeling is too good to be true and feeling like oh man I just did something but it didn't work kind of thing okay and you're desiring someone you're desiring a love of you have here the lovers so I think you just took a step back from a relationship you maybe you broke up with someone maybe you had a little argument and you had a little split and now you're kind of separated um, we also have here past life relationships you have you have known each other before now the way I read this is that it's come to pass okay we also have here the six of swords moving on solution this is something that has come to pass we also have the retreat card it's time to disconnect from the world so I see that there's a lot going on here retreating and just going inward because something just you know blew you off I think it has to do with love by the way um, we also have here the death uh, dice Okay, um, a transformation, a breakup, uh, something that just got destroyed, something that was cut off. And I see here that what's coming here is that you have a lot of sorrow, a lot of um, missing this person, feeling like you want them, you need to see them. Um, but you also have clarity over the things that happen, like you're kind of processing the, you know, the conversations that took place and what you're... Um, uh, what, where you went wrong, where the other person went wrong. And we also have here uh, the Six of Cups, meaning that you feel melancholic and you're probably looking into the past memories of what you guys did together and you know the little things that matter, okay? And this is what's the energy that's coming. Okay, now you're retreating. I think that this is fresh off the boat, what happened. I think it's really fresh. Um, we have here, uh, okay, this is the, the Shen, um, Sorry, the, the Shen Scarab. The Shen Scarab represents a, a cycle, okay? Like if you don't break this cycle, it's gonna continue. If you, don't, if you don't take care of your thoughts now and control your thoughts, your heartbreak, it's gonna take over your life and it's going to infect all areas of your life, okay? So this is a message for you in November. Be strong, Leo, 
okay? We have here the strength card. And you will, because this is the energy that you will be coming into, okay? This is the energy that you will be transforming into in November. We have the Wheel of Fortune, a lot of things that are going to be taking place, a lot of things that are not even yet established. And we can't say, oh, this is going to happen because it just keeps moving. The Wheel of Fortune just keeps moving. We have here the Queen of Pentacles, something that you wish for, something that you want. You probably want stability. You want a relationship that's stable. You don't want to play around anymore. You don't want no more games. All right. Um, as a result, in November, we have the Chariot. We have a new path, Leo. Okay. You're going to go into a new path and you might meet a new person. I didn't say that you're going to, you know, specifically meet a new person, but it could mean that you're going to go into a new, you know, direction in your life. Okay. You're going to feel like, all right, I just, maybe you're, you're going to be focused more on something else other than love. All right. So, you know, keep your focus on. We also have here reflection. Okay. For November, you're going to be reflecting on the past on where did this relationship go wrong? What are you going to do next in your next relationship? How could you improve the situation for your next relationship? So you're going to be reflecting in November, but you're going to be overall, I think, focused on a new path, on a new, you know, maybe you're going to have a different taste than the person before. But first, you're going to go through a little bit of turmoil in November, and then you're going to pick up yourself because you're very strong, Leo. You're going to pick up yourself and you're going to move forward. Okay, you're going to have the chariot. All right. And again, we have here retreat. I think it's great to retreat, reflect. All right. You see reflect, reflection um, and past life. I, well, I think it's more like it just passed, you know, because we have here the six of, of swords and the death card. So it just, you know, passed. All right, Leo. So I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I have some readings, you know, personal readings that I could give you if you are interested. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I see you next month. And I thank you for watching this video. Peace and love.